Instruction for solution home task number two. Assessment of climate conditions. Your home task for two contain information about annual climate characterizing factors. Average temperature January, July, humidity July, annual precipitation, prevalent of wind direction, average air movement speed. And you have to answer the following question. First of all, you need to determine the climate zone. For this purpose, you will use building climate classification. Building climate classification. What we need to do first? You need to open this classification and mark to which groups, which regions and subregions pertain each characteristic. And we start with average air temperature in January. Average air temperature in January plus 2 and it could be pertain to region 3 subregion 3B and region 4 subregion A b and c average air temperature in july 28 and what we see that it pertains to all sub all region for all four sub regions relative humidity 24 percent in our classification we have 75 and about 50 and about and in all other cases, we ignoring. So all cases ignoring have to be marked for us. Annual precipitations, 90 millimeters. It's rather dry region. And for our classification, only two subregions we could use here in the region four. Unfortunately, southeast wind direction is absent in our classification that's why we're not using this column at all for doing the citational task and the last one average air speed 1.2 meter per second we could use all the subregions with ignoring of air movement speed because five and above not useful for us we found that uh, our characteristics of the climate pertain to different regions, starting from the 1, 2, 3, 4, and different subregions. But as we see, most of indices we could find in the regions 2 and 3. Now we have to count in each region and subregion how many characteristics from our task pertain to each. So we count and as we see in region 4 we have the maximum of the factors and 5 criteria pertain to region 4 sub region C. So our climate type according to the building climate classification pertain to region 4 sub region C. Next question in your task is climate and weather conditions specific for this region. Just look to these characteristics and you will understand it by yourself and you could characterize it by yourself. January plus temperature, July plus 28, so it's hot climate yes according building classification number four it's hot climate it's very dry climate because humidity only 24 percent and annual precipitations only 90 millimeters low air movement speed so it's hot dry climate it's the main characteristics and according to this characteristic you could explain the physiological reactions in case of dry and hot climate a lot of heat loss, dehydration, and relative symptoms you should describe. And your recommendation, planning and building. Remember, please lecture information which types of the building we use in hot climate, which materials, uh, how we plan the 
uh, doors and windows, uh, water consumption in hot regions higher than in the warm, higher, higher in the warm and the cold, of course. That's why it had to be more than three liters per day, only drinking, and of course, more the water for other purposes. Then, uh, risk for different infections, waterborne infections, and methods of water cleaning we have to use. Food recommendations again just remember uh, your peculiarities of nutrition in your hot countries which foods you eat most which less and how you select the correct clothes briefly describe by few sentences answer to each on this